Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby. Robin will be with us in a few minutes. And uh, today is November the 30th. And tomorrow we start a whole new month. Well, let me see here. Today we celebrate the feast day of the Apostle Andrew, the holy and all-praised first called of the Apostles. His troparian, O Andrew, as the first called of the apostles and brother of their leader, entreat the master of all to grant peace to the world Amen. and to our soul's great mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let me see here. Oh, we got to do all this right. And let me see here. And there's Robin. And I'll be reading the scriptures this morning. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so let me see. Our let me let me find our. We're a little little discombobulated this morning, but not bad, not bad. Yeah, page eighty-seven. There we go. So let's pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of Thy divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of Thy gospel teachings. Implant in us also the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things are as well pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thine unoriginate Father, and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Well, our first reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brethren, God has exhibited, uh, exhibited us apostles as last of all, like men sentenced to death because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour we hunger and thirst. We are ill-clad and buffeted and homeless, and we labor, working with our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we try to conciliate. We have become and are now as the refuge of the world, the offscouring of all things. I do not write this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For I became your father and Christ through the gospel. I urge you then, be imitators of me. Amen. And now our gospel. And it's taken from John chapter 1, verses 35 through 51. At that time, John was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The, the two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, So you are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. The next day Jesus decided to go to Galilee. And he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip said, Come and see. And Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him, 
and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? And Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. And Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The word of our Lord, in the name of the, Je in the, name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. And let me see here. Now let's see who's with us this morning. And we'll go over here to the uh, corner pew. And there's Joyce Marie. Created me a clean heart, O oh God. Created me a clean heart. Amen. And over here in the main aisle, there's my little sister, Lena May, sitting right up front. Good, mo good morning to you. And there's Karen Kalanovich, praying our time, praying and reading the scriptures, and sharing is blessed. Amen. And Karen Kalanovich, please pray for my beloved son, Andrew. Happy, well, we pray for Andrew on his name day. Amen. And Joanne Manaski, good morning to you, Joanne. And uh, let me see here. Ooh. Katrina Bennett. Is that Kim? That's Kim. Please pray for John, who had a fall and is having surgery tomorrow. Well, Lord, we pray for uh, John. We pray for him, Lord. He'll, he took a fall and he'll be having uh, surgery tomorrow morning. We pray for him. Amen. And let me see here. Maria Fenton, good morning. Good morning from Ocala, Florida. Uh, so grateful and thankful for making it back from Greenville, North Carolina last night where I was visiting my daughter and grandkids. My daughter is traveling a nurse, and she works there now. Please pray for her and her family to be well and safe. And, Lord, we do pray for that. We pray for Maria, and we pray for uh, her daughter and grandkids, Felicia. My daughter is a traveling nurse, and she works there. So, Lord, we pray for uh, Felicia. We pray for that whole family. Amen. Amen. And over here in the Annex, Jonathan Nichols. Good morning, Steve, Robin, Pippin, Christina Curtin, and everyone. Jesus and coffee. You betcha. Jesus and coffee. Amen. Uh, and let me see here. Kurt Lytle. Good morning, dear prayer family. May our risen Lord bless each of us today according to our needs. Amen. Well, there's Earl and Vicki. Down in Nashville, Earl and Vicki Winter, good morning to you. And, oh, Kurt says, please remember, please remember to like and to share. Amen. Yeah. Catherine Houston, good morning. Muratane, all the way from Dublin, Ireland, good morning, everyone. And he adds, do not forsake my Lord, do not forsake me, Lord, my God. Be not far from me, make haste to help me, Lord of my salvation. Amen. And uh, Amber Tremaine, good morning, everyone. And uh, hi, Jonathan. Well, come, Creator Spirit, filled with grace the hearts you've created. From That was from The Music of Eternity by Evelyn Underhill. And let me see, going right along, Gary Ballard, San Antonio. Good morning, everybody. Elioni Shanera, Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Good morning, lovely prayer family. And Amber says, snow, snow here in Snohomish, Washington. Ooh. Eh, we've already had our first, but be, maybe we'll get some tomorrow, I think they say. And uh, let me see here. And Catherine says, a blessed name day to Karen's son, Andrew. Many more years to come, we pray. Amen. And a double check over here. Oh, Alita Hagos, please pray for our family. It's yearly celebration of St. Mary and Asmara. Uh, Eritrea, Eritrea, there we go. Well, Lord, we pray for Alita 
and her family, her children, Lord, we pray that uh, you keep them healthy, keep them safe, and protect them. Amen. Oh, good to see Alita. Good to see her. She stopped in this morning. And let me see here. All righty. All righty. So, um, Robin, would you lead us in prayers this morning? Sure. Yes, sir. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter in the spirit of truth, for it everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep, thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding, and open thy mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, to praise thy all-holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds. Light of light and very God of very God, begotten and not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made. 
who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and was buried, suffered and buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead and whose kingdom shall have no end and I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord and giver of life who proceedeth from the Father. What are you eating? Okay. Who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high, and Lord of mercies, who ever workest great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities, and as a repose for our bodies tired from labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love towards mankind, Thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all the eternal Father with thy only begotten Son and thy all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Do you want me it to carry truly, on? It sounds like you're losing your voice. Yep. <laughs> it is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who are without corruption didst bear God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will, and every hour of this day instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly, in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things happen, let me not forget that all are sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably toward everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will, teach me how to pray, Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And I see Violetta has uh, joined us in Amber Tremaine. Yes, good morning. And uh, Kurt says, uh, thank you, Robin. Please rest. <laughs> rest that voice. Okay. And let's see, over here. And over here. And Debbie Owen, good morning, Deb. Good to see you. Well, Robin, if your voice is up to it, we'll see you tonight for our Bible study. Okay. And uh, remember, it's uh, John. We're still in ch chapter 1 of St. John's Gospel, and we're picking it up at verse 19. So that's John 1, verse 19 is where we're starting this evening. So we'll see you later. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Thank you.
So, Lord, this is when we pray for each other. And we pray, Lord, that you have mercy on those who we are about to pray for. So, Lord, uh, Katrina Bennett, that, I was wrong. That's not Kim. Katrina Bennett is with us this morning, folks. And uh, let me see. Let's go back up to Katrina. Uh, let's go back up to Katrina. There she is. Please pray for John, who had a fall and is having surgery tomorrow. So, Lord, we pray for John, Katrina Bennett's uh, loved one, and we pray to your Lord that he has a successful surgery. Well, Lord, we also pray for uh, Kim DeForest and her family. We pray for Kim, for healing for her, and for her daughter Megan, who suffers from cancer, and for uh, uh, Kim's uh, husband, or yes, husband Jack, and uh, for his good health, and we pray for their son, Ross. Ross suffers from that chronic uh, fatigue syndrome, Lord. We pray for healing for him. We pray for Nelvia Agnew, who suffers from cancer, Lord. We pray for healing for her. We pray for uh, Deb Goodall's husband, for his health. He's just out of the hospital. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Gary Ballard and Stefania, his wife, for their good health. And uh, we pray for their parents, Mary, Ella, and Ellis. We, we pray for their children. We pray for Madhu, Aisha, Jasmine, Emmanuel, Jonathan, Benjamin, and their grandson, Reynard. And uh, Lord, we pray for their academic career and life pursuits. May they be pleasing to you and a blessing to those around them. And Lord, we pray for Gary, for the strength and focus to complete his assignments. And we pray for Kevin McCurchin. We pray for full recovery from his stroke. Well, Lord, we pray for Maria Mercieri and her family. We pray for uh, her sister-in-law, Adina, who's going through chemotherapy. We pray for Maria's husband, Saverio, and their daughters, Philomena and Georgia. <coughs> Excuse me. We pray for Catherine Houston for her good health, and we pray, dear Lord, for Patricia, her sister, uh, for a healing for her. We pray for a friend, Susan, who's going through uh, bone cancer treatments. We pray, Lord, we pray for healing for her. We pray for Kathy to return to our faith and become her best self. We pray for Thomas Duffy. We pray that you heal and strengthen his heart. We pray for Catherine's son, Brandon, his wife, Nicole, and little Poppy Rose. We pray for them, Lord. We pray for the health of Lexi, uh, her daughter, and we pray for uh, Catherine's son, our cousin, John. We pray for his good health. We pray for Nadine. We pray for Michelle, Donna, Kevin, and Keith. They each suffer from cancer. And Lord, we pray for Jan Novak. And thank you for healing him from pancreatic cancer. Lord, Michael and Joyce E. Rager ask to pray for Janice Proctor, who suffers from lung cancer. And Lord, we pray for the health of my family. We pray for my granddaughter Anna, my granddaughter Sarah. We pray for my daughter Maureen and her family. We pray for uh, Christina that she remains cancer free. We pray for the health of my wife Sharon. And we pray for our friends Ann Bradner and Jim and Ann Robinson and Gary Fisher. Lord, we pray for our sister Lena May and thank you for bringing her to us. Well, Lord, we pray for her health and a healing for her. We pray for her husband. We pray for her daughters, Jennifer and Stephanie. And we pray for Charlene, who you healed from cancer. Lord, we pray for my friend Bernie Grand for his health and the health of his mother. We pray for Karen Karlanovich for her health and, uh, Lord, for healing for her. We pray for her children and her grandchildren. We pray especially for her son Chris and, and her son Andrew on and this is name day. We pray, Lord, for her grandsons, George and Gabe. We pray for them, Lord, um, for good health, protection, and healings. We pray for that. We pray for uh, Kat Zerga and her sister for their good health. We pray for the health of Stephanie Acario. We pray for Catherine Salcedo. Lord, we pray for Catherine and her family. They have some troubled times right now. So we pray for them. We pray for Catherine uh, Raphael, her husband, we pray for Bianca and Rodrigo, little Izio, and for John and his children. We pray for them. Lord, at St. Michael's, we're praying for uh, Paul Peters, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for his wife, Ethel Peters, and that whole family, that you comfort and console them. 
We pray for Aziza Baruti, Stella Susuris, Enum George, Mary Malark, Barbara Essa, George Abraham, Hugh Mater, Rosie Wallace, Michelle Quagliana, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Steve and Sharon Toby, Joseph Medeiri, Joseph Felix, Stephen Fraser, Michelle Mason, John Showalter, James Herbert, Charles Thomas, Ruth and Jane Jabara, Marion Canali, Cooper Wolf, Jorge Luqua, Curia Jane Solberg, Curia Jocelyn. We pray for Dory Harris, Kelly and Shannon Levy, Jason Post, Michael Abraham, Robert D'Arsenio, Steve Rumian, Michael Joseph, John Nicholson. We pray for Stephen Allen, Father Stephen Allen, Father Philip McCaffrey. We pray for a George Michaels, and we pray for Rennie Abraham. Lord, we pray that you bring them good health, and Lord, your peace. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister over there in Geneva, New York, Carmi Simeon. Keep her in good health, Lord. We pray for that. Amen. We pray for our brother down in Virginia, Rob King, for his good health. And we pray for the health of Tucker. And we pray for Rob's uh, children and grandchildren, for their health, and that they come home in faith to you. Lord, we pray for Rob's sister, Dixie. We pray that you help her with her struggles. We pray for uh, Judy, that she remains cancer-free after you have healed her. We pray for e Earl and Vicki Winter down in Nashville. We pray for their good health. And we pray, Lord, for Vicki's parents, Martha and Jimmy in Tupelo, Mississippi. We pray for success for Earl's business. We pray for the health of Zach and Lindsay and Lindsay's friend Donna. We pray for Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins. We pray that you bring Albina, Tom, and Sonia back to good health. And, Lord, we pray for Alyssa Sides, who suffers from cancer. Well, Lord, we pray for Barb Anderson and her family. We pray that you keep them in good health. We pray especially for her son, Archpriest Michael, who you healed from cancer. Now we pray that he remains cancer-free. We pray for our sister, Frances Pappas, down there in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, we pray for her and her family. We pray especially for her husband, Dimitri, who's going through kidney dialysis and awaiting a kidney transplant. We pray that happens soon. We pray for Frances' childhood friend, Flora, who suffers from cancer. We pray for her parish, St. George's Parish in Greenville. And we pray for their priest, Father Tom, Father Mike, and the whole congregation there. And Lord, we pray for Gloria Drummond. We pray for her, Lord, and she asks us to pray for the health of Joseph Horath and David and Samantha. And Lord, we pray for Natalia Klaus over in the Netherlands. Um, we pray for the her and the health of her family, and thank you for healing her father from cancer. We pray for Stravula Batskos over in Melbourne, Australia, and Ilya, her husband, and that whole family. We pray for Marie. We pray for Uncle Demetrios, who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for his wife, Felicia, that you comfort and console her. We pray for Raphael, Robert, and Antigone. We pray for Aaron, that you heal and strengthen his heart. And we pray for George for healing from cancer. Lord, we pray for uh, Maria Fenton in Ocala, Florida. We pray for her, Lord. Uh, we pray for her health and her special intentions. We pray for Felicia, her daughter, and uh, Felicia's family. We pray for, pray for their good health. We pray for uh, Robert, that's Maria's son-in-law, that he comes to you in faith. We pray for Morris, for his health and special intentions, and we pray that you heal and strengthen Marilyn's heart. We pray for Joanne Taylor, who suffers from cancer. But Lord, we also pray for our catechumens. We pray that they continue to grow in faith in you. We pray for, at, uh, we pray for uh, the catechumens at the Holy Spirit uh, Parish in Venice, Florida. We pray for Thomas, Ann, Curtis, and Craig. At uh, All Saints of Alaska, Lord, we pray for Ken and Nancy Klein. That's in Homer, Alaska. We pray for Eric. Uh, he's at the uh, Nativity of Christ Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. And we pray for uh, the Evan, the uh, catechumens at St. Ananias Parish in Evansville, Indiana. We pray for Ginger at St. John Chrysostom Parish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. At St. George's Parish in uh, uh, Fresno, California, we pray for Kenneth, Madison, Justice, and Karen. At St. Michael's in Louisville, Kentucky, Alione's Parish, we pray for Alex Shanera. At St. Michael's in Geneva, New York, we pray for Jonathan Butterfield, Nick and Jackie Rose, and their children. We pray for our sister Tina Showalter, Lord. 
We pray for her health and her ministry. And we pray for her husband, John, that you bring him back to good health. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Tom Abraham, for his family, and for his uh, granddaughter, Bryn May, Lord. Thank you all you've done for her. And we pray, Lord, for Joyce Marie and her husband, Tim, for their health. And Joyce Marie asks us to pray for health, the health and well-being of this prayer group, that you hear our prayers and be glorified in them. We pray for Joyce's sister, Janet, as she remains cancer-free. We pray for uh, Janet and Joyce's mother, Granny Joyce, and all of their children and grandchildren, for your mercy and grace that your will be done in each of their lives. We pray for uh, Jolene and Jeremiah. We pray that their households are guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels, and follow your leading. We also pray for Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith, that he remains cancer-free after you've healed him. We pray, dear Lord, for uh, Joyce's cousin Connie, for healing of body and soul, and that she continues to grow in faith in you. We pray for St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois, together with Father Mark, Mary Mary's Market, and the whole congregation there. May that parish grow and thrive and flourish. We pray for that. And Lord, we pray for your blessings on All Saints Parish in Chicago, together with Father Andrew and Father Patrick Reardon. Lord, we pray for our sister Joanne Manaski out there in uh, Arizona. Keep forgetting the name of the city. I can't believe it. Big city, too. Well, Lord, we pray for Joanne. We pray for her health. She asks to pray for her cousin Mark, who's fallen asleep. We pray, dear Lord, uh, that uh, he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for Joanne's uh, a family friend of Joanne's, Claire. She suffers from cancer, Lord. And, Lord, we pray for... Uh, Joanne's daughter, Aaron, and her husband, Andrew. We pray for her son, Corey. We pray for her three brothers, Eugene, Stephen, and Paul. We pray for their health and healings for each of them. We pray for her great niece, Madison, for a healing, Lord. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we also pray for uh, uh, Rachel, who had that biking accident and was seriously injured. So we pray for a full recovery for her. We pray for Joel, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for Jackie and Bev, that uh, after you've healed them from cancer, Lord, we pray that they remain cancer-free. And thank you for that healing, for those healings. We pray for Randy, who still suffers from cancer, Lord. We pray for healing for him. We pray for his caregiver, Jude. And, Lord, we pray for Jack, for his health. And it's Phoenix, Arizona, for Joanne. Well, Lord, we pray for Amy and Eric Green, and we thank you for them. So, Lord, we pray for their health, their faith. We pray for Eric's business and Amy's students. We pray for their daughters, Sarah and Natalie, and future son-in-law, Bryce. May the Holy Spirit protect, guide, and inspire them to a deeper faith in you and help them to continue to make good decisions in their lives. We pray for Amy's mother, Lois, for her health physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We pray for Eric's parents, Glenn and Grace, for their health. We pray for Amy's brother, Rick, and his crew. They're uh, first responders, Lord. We pray that you keep them safe. We pray for Randy, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for uh, Tabitha and Austin and Naomi. We pray, dear Lord, for their health. We pray for Clementine, Terrence, and Sean for health and endurance. We pray for Christina and Teresa for relief from continual migraine headaches. We pray for that. We pray for Lauren and Ryder, mother and son, Lord. We pray for a healing for Lauren, continue good health for Ryder, and that they find a, a, a good place to live. We pray for little Levi, two-year-old little boy with cancer, Lord, but things are looking up and really going well. We thank you. And uh, we pray for his parents, Dustin and Jessica, that they have the strength to endure. We pray for Belle, Andrea, and their families for healing and strength. We pray for Pam, Jay, and Christina for healings. We pray for Rosemary and Emma Jean. They're in nursing homes, Lord, and we pray that you keep them safe and healthy. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister, Debbie Owen. Good morning, Deb. We pray that you make life a little less stressful for her. We pray for that. And, uh, Lord, uh, we pray for her father, for his good health. We pray for that. And uh, we pray for Debbie's uh, private practice, that it is successful. We pray for uh, Debbie's husband, Matt, that he's better able to handle stressful situations. And Lord, we pray for, we pray for their children. We pray for Clara and Amaya, Gio, Jordan, and Eleanor. We pray, dear Lord, that they come closer to you 
and that they make good decisions in their lives. And we pray especially for Gio, Lord, that you send him the Holy Spirit to strengthen and guide him in his faith. We pray for that. Well, Lord, we also pray for Debbie's friends, uh, Yelena and Masha, for their health. And we pray for Lori for healing from that cancer. We pray for that. Now it's time to see if Joseph Khalil is with us. And no, he's not. So, Lord, we pray for Joseph. We pray for his good health and that you protect him. We pray for his ministries. And we pray that they are pleasing to you and a blessing to all those around him. We pray for his two sons, Toby and Luke. We pray for them, Lord, that you send them the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen them in their lives. We pray that you protect Luke from all infections. And, Lord, we pray for Annabelle and Gabriella. We pray for Joseph's mother, Odette, for a return to good health and a healing for her. And we pray for a Joseph's wife, Rania. We pray for her good health, Lord. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Robin Armstrong. We pray that she gets her voice back so she can participate in tonight's uh, Bible study. Well, we pray for her health and the health of uh, Pippin as well. And we pray that you protect them. We pray for her uh, father, Bob, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for uh, Bob's wife, Carolyn, and that whole family that you comfort and console them and uh, bring peace. Bring peace. Hear your, your peace to that family, Lord. Now, Lord, we also pray for Malia, a young lady suffering from that brain tumor. We pray for Malia's uh, mother, Lori. We pray that you bring Francis back to good health. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for our brother, Jonathan Nichols. Good morning. We pray for his health, Lord, and uh, we pray that he remains cancer-free after you have healed him. Thank you so much. Amen. And we pray for his friends, Max, Dwight, Caitlin, Jeff, and Christina. We pray, dear Lord, for their health, especially Caitlin, that you improve the health of her heart so she doesn't need that heart transplant. Well, Stefan Bennett, Lord, asks us to pray for our spiritual fathers worldwide who are guiding their flocks during this very, very trying time. So I pray for Father Gregory at St. Michael's, my parish. I pray for Father uh, Constantinos and at the uh, St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission in Kenya. Pray for Father Antipas and his ministry in Nairobi. We pray for Father Emmanuel at St. Sophia's in Nairobi. We pray for Father Demetrios Leosis at uh, St. Basil's in Ocala, Florida. We pray for uh, Amy Green, asked to pray for Father Joseph. He's at St. George's Parish in Lynchburg, Virginia. We pray for Stelios, uh, two priests, Fathers Theodore and Nectarios. Uh, we pray for Father Simon, that's Christina Hunter's priest. We pray for Kathleen Purdy's son, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for Michael and Joyce E. Rager's uh, priest, Father Daniel Hackney. We pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Surreal, and for her godson, Father Nick. We pray for uh, Barb Anderson's son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for Father Herman, Father Dragan Mitrovic, Julie Dumont's priest, Father Andrew Short, and Father Adam Roberts at St. Paul's and near Houston. We pray for uh, Alioni's two priests, Father Ephraim and Father Lucas, and uh, at uh, St. Michael's in Louisville, Kentucky. Amy Green asks to pray for Father Sam and Father Jeremy. We pray for Karen Valentes' husband, Father Constantine. Raymond Cannon asks to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. We pray for Father John Purcells, that's uh, Robin Armstrong's priest at Christ the Savior Parish in Berlin, Maryland. So, Lord, we pray for these priests. We pray for their health, their ministries, and their families. We also pray for Mother Elizabeth for her health, her family, and her ministry, Lord. Amen. Now, Lord, we pray for our bishops. We pray for Bishop Sava, Daniel, Benjamin, Nicholas, and Alexander. Oh, there's Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barb. Good to see you. Well, Lord, we pray for these bishops. We pray for their ministries, for their health, and uh, for their families as well. Good to see Barb this morning. And let me see here. Let me go down here and see if there's any other prayer requests. And... And Katrina says, please remember John going forward. Thank you. Well, we will do that, Katrina. Write a name right down here. 
right here. There. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. Keep John in our prayers. And you too, Katrina. Let's go over here. Okay, let me see here. Violetta. And uh, Robin, uh, Amber says, try some chamomile tea for your voice. And Amber says, Eleone, praying you continue to heal after your cataract surgery. And yesterday the doctor told me, probably, maybe, maybe in a year or so, I'll need cataract surgery myself. And uh, Amber says, Catherine, praying for Brandon and Kathy. Amen. So, and go back over here and here. So, Lord, we ask that you remember all of those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you extend your healing hands and all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. And, Lord, we pray that the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us in our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. We pray that our saint of the day, the Apostle St. Andrew, Lord, the first called, with Lord, we pray that he remembers us in our prayer intentions and his prayers when he prays. Amen. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death, we ask that you uh, visit and heal your servants, Lord, all those that we have prayed for this morning granting them release from pain and restoration to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you again this evening, 9 p.m. for the Gospel Minute Live. It's Wednesday, so it is uh, our Bible study night. And as I said earlier, we're in St. John's Gospel, and we're in Picking up from where we left off last week, chapter 1, verse 19 is where we start this evening. And maybe, just maybe, we can get through chapter 1. Two things that you must remember. One, that God loves you and he really, really, really does. Yeah, he really does. And two, we all love one another. We all love one another. Now, may God bless us all. Let's have a great day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And we shall see you tonight. Amen. And I'm getting a message here. Kurt is watching. Yes, Kurt is always watching us. Got to be careful. So, until tonight, may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh.